You cannot convince me that half of the correctional staff is dishonest. Well, the San Joaquin County DA's office is now investigating dozens of correctional officers for missing time off requests. A retired sergeant says the sheriff knew the system was broken years ago and did nothing. So is something wrong with the system? CBS 13's Lee Martinez is getting answers. It's alleged that as many as 78 correctional officers at the county jail have missing time off slips. And according to a retired sergeant, this is not the first group of deputies to be investigated by the sheriff. San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office employees use paper requests for vacation, sick days, and any other time off from work. Employees turn it into their supervisor. Sergeant takes it and you walk away. Okay, you're not given a receipt for it. Nothing. There's no way for you to prove that you ever turned that in. Retired Sergeant Pat Withrow, who once ran against Steve Moore for sheriff, says deputies are supposed to get a yellow slip back, but it often takes months. He says eight years ago, his staff in Lathrop had the same problem as the 78 correctional officers with missing slips. An officer approached his sergeant, a different sergeant down there, and said, Hey, look, I don't think my time off slips are being processed properly. I, I, I'm missing some. Withrow says he ran an audit and found almost everyone in the Lathrop station was missing time off deductions. He says he reported it and changed the Lathrop system to record time off electronically, but says the sheriff opened an investigation on the Lathrop station. We were all disciplined, various levels of discipline. I lost a day of pay and was given a letter of reprimand. And the paper passing through two or three supervisors' hands never changed. So we asked Sheriff Moore if the time off system needs an update. It needs super fixing now. What it needs is the fact that we can take a look at it. We put additional safeguards in by having them checked at each shift. And why isn't the whole department being audited? It appeared there was discrepancies and they needed to be addressed. And I felt the best way to address them was to get a third party, our new district attorney's office, to take a look at it. The attorney for the officers union says the DA investigator told him that 38 of those officers had reached the felony embezzlement category because at least three days of work were missing or $950. But he says he thinks it's unlikely that any officer will face charges.